Good, this is your girl and the Bones Goddess and I'm here to do my five favorite fall lippies video and one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because I've seen a couple of them pop up here and there and I think these types of videos are very helpful because if you're like me and you want to try different lipsticks and try different things with makeup it's good to see what girls who are your skin tone or just different colors what they look like on different individuals so I'm going to show you guys my five favorite fall lippies uh, two of them are higher end and three of them are your drugstore uh, variety so I'm gonna show you guys the five that are my favorite and also I want you guys to be helpful to other people on here so if you have your five put your top five in the comment section your top five favorite fall lippies I definitely want to explore more with different colors I like doing neutral eyes and bold lips during the fall so I really want to try more lipsticks so um, be sure to leave your suggestions below now with any further ado without any further ado let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna start with the lipstick that I'm wearing right now and this right here is NYX uh, and it's perfect red. And I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see. This wouldn't typically be my type of red right here. As you guys can see, it is a very, uh, a more of a yellow based red, more of an orangey undertone. I prefer the more blue based red, but I still like it. I think it's really cute, especially with like a nice neutral eye like what I have going on today. Really pretty color. Like I said, this is the NYX. This is one of their matte lipsticks and it's called Perfect Red. And this is it on the lips and this is it swatched. The next color that I wanna, before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to add a little bit of Blistex in between because my lips are already really dry. And trying on a bunch of lipsticks is not helping. All right, so the next thing I wanna try is something that's totally different. This lipstick is not for the faint of heart. And this is Wet n Wild's 919 B as in Bravo. And it is their Vamp It Up lipstick. And it's so dark purple that it almost looks black. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. That's it swatched next to Perfect Red. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so you guys can see what it looks like on. All right, now this is Vamp It Up on my lips. I know it's kind of bold, it's kind of in your face, but I still, I really like it. I think this is perfect for doing vampy lips, a vampy, a vampy look totally. That's why it's called Vamp It Up. If you did a really pretty, you know, smoky purple eye or a smoky eye and, you know, some nice wing liner and a dark purple lip like this, I think it's really, really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, extremely deep, definitely out of my typical comfort zone, but I like it nonetheless. Again, this is 919 B is in Bravo from Wet n Wild, and this is called Vamp It Up. And the next color that I want to add, I get lots of compliments on this lipstick whenever I wear it, and it is CoverGirl Embrace, 335 Embrace. And it's a really pretty, um, it's kind of a pinky purple, but it has a blue undertone. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like on. One of my favorite lipsticks ever. I love, love, love this color. Oh yeah. So pigmented. I love how moisturizing this lipstick is as well. Let me put a swatch as well for you guys. Very, very beautiful color. That's it right there. Like I said, it's kind of a pinky purple, but it has a blue undertone. It's a very moisturizing lipstick. Very, very gorgeous. Hope you guys can see the, the full color. I get compliments every time I wear this lipstick, anytime in a video. Love, love, love it. Super moisturizing, very pigmented. The only thing I will say about this CoverGirl lipstick is it does have good staying power, power and all of that, but if you wear this all day, when it, when it comes time for you to take it off and wipe it off your lips, you, your lips will be a little bit stained. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because that shows you that this drugstore inexpensive lipstick is so pigmented and so rich in color, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, but sometimes you don't wanna have stained lips. So um, it's kind of a pro and a con, but it's extremely pigmented, worth every penny. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Like I said, this is CoverGirl Embrace 335. Okay, I'm back, and as you guys can see, that quick second that I put that on my lips, my lips are already a little bit stained. Like, that's how strong that lipstick is. Anyway, I'm gonna go on to my two MAC lipsticks. The first one I wanna show you guys is a color called Rebel. 
really, really gorgeous. Look at that. Rich purple color. Beautiful. But for some reason, it comes across kind of pinky to me. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it next to Embrace so you guys can see. Yeah, a little more reddish. More like a reddy purple, I guess. But let me go ahead and put this on so you guys can see what it looks like on. And this is a satin finish. This is the color. Really, really pretty. Gorgeous color, great bold lip. Like I said, this is Rebel. This is from MAC and it is one of their satin finish lipsticks. Very, very pretty color, gorgeous color. If you follow me on Instagram, it's no secret what my favorite lipstick is because I talk about it all the time. And that lipstick is MAC Ruby Woo. Favorite lipstick of all time. Now this is a gorgeous blue-based red, not like Perfect Red from NYX, which is more of a, has more yellow in it to me. Seems like a more of a yellow undertone. Here is Ruby Woo, swatch right there. See the difference? This is Perfect Red and that's Ruby Woo. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this is a lot more blue-based. Pop this on. And here is the infamous Ruby Woo. Now this is a matte lipstick and it's probably the most drying lipstick I've ever put on my lips ever. But when you put it on with a little bit of like Blistex first, as you see it kind of glides on. This is the kind of lipstick that you really want to go in and exfoliate your lips because any little bit of dead skin or any bit of peeling that you have on your lips, this lipstick will put a magnifying glass on it and draw a lot of attention to it. So um, definitely moisturize your lips and exfoliate them really well before trying on this lipstick. But this lipstick is foolproof. I've seen the lightest of the light and the darkest of the dark try this lipstick and it looks great on everybody. It's the most universal red I've ever seen. And I feel like even though this lipstick is $15 and I'm cheap and I don't like paying full price for anything, this is worth it to me. So anyway, I wanna show you guys really quickly again. This is Max Ruby Woo. And this is Max Rebel lipstick. This is CoverGirls 335 Embrace. This is Wet n Wild's 919B. This is Vamp It Up. And last but not least, NYX's Perfect Red. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your suggestions below. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces, honey. Come enjoy the light.